for the Sampaguitas Fall created by Jesus Pacambara. Nestled between rolling hills and shimmering rice paddies, the village of San Isidro was a place where time seemed to slow. Life here followed the rhythm of the seasons, and every villager knew each other's business. It was here, in this tucked away corner of the world, that a quiet love story began, one that would take root beneath a blooming Sampaguita tree. Jesse had lived in San Isidro all his life. Known for his easy-going nature and his tireless hands, he spent his days farming, fishing by the river, and helping neighbors without expecting anything in return. But the day Yisel arrived in the village, everything changed for him. She was unlike anyone else Jesse had ever seen. A woman with porcelain skin, raven black hair, and the kind of distant melancholic beauty that felt out of place among the noisy roosters and muddy pots. Yisel had left Seoul seeking refuge from a life that had grown too complicated. She moved into her grandmother's old nip hut, hoping the simplicity of the countryside would help her heal. At first, Yisel's presence caused a ripple in the village, with curious glances following her every move. The villagers admired her delicate features but whispered behind her back, wondering why such a beautiful woman would come here to live among farmers and fishermen. Jessie, however, saw something beyond the gossip, a quiet sadness in her eyes, as if she carried the burden too heavy for anyone to notice, and so he decided to be there for her without asking anything in return. Jessie's love was expressed through quiet, deliberate actions. When Yisel struggled to carry the water from a communal well, he appeared by her side and helped her saying nothing more than a nod in greeting. When she tried to fix the broken bamboo fence behind her hut, he wordlessly patched it up the next morning, and when he saw her sitting by the river bank, gazing at the far off mountains with tear glistening in her eyes, he sat beside her, offering not words but his presence. At first, Giselle found Jesse's kindness confusing. In the city, kindness often came with strings attached, but Jesse never asked for anything. He was simply there, like the wind that rustled, the palm trees, or the river that flowed past the village, always moving, yet never demanding to be noticed. One rainy afternoon, as Giselle tried to gather the clothes she had hung out to dry, a sudden gust of wind swept them away. Jesse, appearing as if summoned by the storm, chased after the runaway linen. His clothes soaked through by the time he returned them to her. She gave him a small hesitant smile, a smile that felt like a victory to Jesse. But as the days passed, Giselle grew restless. She knew Jesse cared for her perhaps more than anyone ever had, but she was afraid. Love, in her experience, had always come with expectations and disappointments, and so one evening, she decided to confront him. They sat under the shade of a Sampaguita tree as the last light of the day faded into the twilight. The scent of the flowers drifted between them, sweet and calming. Yisel took a deep breath and broke the silence. Why do you do all this for me, Jessie? she asked, her voice trembling. What do you want from me? Jesse looked at her, his dark eyes steady and calm. I don't want anything, Giselle. I just care about you. But I can't give you what you want, she whispered, her hands fidgeting, the hem of her skirt. I don't know how to love someone like you. Jesse leaned closer, his voice gentle but firm. You don't have to know how, Giselle. I'm not asking you to change or be someone else. I'm just asking you to let me stay by your side. Tears swelled up in Giselle's eyes and she quickly wiped them away. What if I hurt you? What if I push you away? Jesse smiled, a soft patient smile that carried the weight of every unspoken promise. Then I'll still be here. Love isn't about avoiding pain. It's about choosing to stay, even when it's hard. Giselle looked away, 
struggling with the emotions swirling inside her. She had spent so long building walls around her heart and now here was this quiet, steadfast man offering her something she could never thought she could have, unconditional love. For a time, they sat in silence, the soft rustling of some pagita blossoms falling around them like snowflakes. And then, as if the weight of her fears finally lifted, Giselle leaned her head on Jesse's shoulder. It was a small gesture, but for Jesse, it was everything. The village, however, was not kind to them. Gossip spread like wildfire, with whispers about Giselle leading Jesse on and rumors that she would soon leave, breaking his heart. Even Jesse's family questioned why he would waste his time on someone who seemed so unwilling to love him back. But Jesse remained undeterred. People don't see what I see, he told Giselle one evening. They don't know you the way I do. Giselle's heart ached at his words, but the fear of losing him still gnawed at her. One day, overwhelmed by her thoughts, she told him that they should stop seeing each other. You should deserve someone who isn't so broken, she said, her voice heavy with regret. Jesse's response was simple but unwavering. I don't want someone else, Giselle. I want you. The weight of his words settled over like a warm embrace. For so long, she had believed that love was something she didn't deserve. But here Jesse, choosing her every day, without hesitation or expectations, slowly she began to let go of her peers, piece by piece. Months passed and with each day, Giselle found herself growing braver. She started helping Jesse in the fields, learning to laugh at the small mistakes and finding joy in the simplest movements and moments. And Jesse, patient as ever, stayed by her side, his love quiet, blooming like some pagita flowers that lined the paths they walked together. One morning, under the same Sampagita tree where their journey had begun, Giselle took Jesse's hand in hers. I'm ready, she whispered, her voice soft but sure. I don't know what the future holds, but I want it to be with you. Jesse smiled, his heart swelling with joy. That's all I ever wanted. They married under the shade of the Sampagita tree, with only the villagers and the mountains as their witnesses. As the fragrant blossoms rained down upon them, Giselle looked into Jesse's eyes and saw not just love, but a lifetime of quiet moments waiting to unfold. And so, their story did not end with a grand declaration or a perfect happily ever after. It ended with something far more beautiful, a promise made beneath the Sampagita tree, a love that would endure through every season and every storm, and two hearts that finally found their way home.